Israel's getting a little bit of heat because it apparently is thinking about rolling out a self driving car that is designed without windows. So um, these new reports indicate that Apple might be developing its own self driving car equipped with virtual reality technology. Why? Um, and also no steering wheel or windows. Um, back in 2014, Apple actually started work on a vehicle. And since then, Apple filed many car related patents. That's why we know about this, teasing a number of potential features. Now we're getting an idea of what those features might include. So Apple reportedly filed a patent on May 3rd for the in car virtual reality entertainment system, which would replace the view of the real world in a car with virtual environments. I don't, but why? But why? Like why? Why would that? Ha- why would you need that? Well, I, I have. Uh, but the self-driving some car needs to not. We don't need virtual reality. You're on the road. We need reality. Reality, no. No, not necessarily. So, uh, <laughs> so we're going to show you a design of it in a second, but it's not really a design of it. Anyways, <laughs> um, so look, they're filing patents. They're going to file a lot more patents than they actually use. So these are just ideas initially. So they might or might not use them later, but if they have a design, you gotta get it to the patent office right away so that others don't beat you to it. So they understand that's part of the context here. So tons of patents that they come up with crazy ideas. Let's have a giraffe in the car, I don't know, patent it, right? And they're like, ah, oh, it turns out having a giraffe in the car is bad, you can't go through the tunnels. They're like, okay, scratch that, but at least we have the patent on it. So that's part of the story. But secondly, I always thought the autonomous driving cars, yeah, theoretically, you have the human there in case something goes wrong, but really they do drive themselves. And you're signing up for them driving themselves. So do you need to see the road? You actually don't need to see you the road. You do need to see the road, you know why? Why? So I, I forget where this happened exactly, but there were subway cars, like subway trains, right, with without windows, and people were getting sick in them. Because yeah. it's like being in an, you know, when you're in an elevator, it feels a little weird, doesn't it? And so if you're in a moving vehicle with no windows, it could cause some like illness, like motion illness, if you know what I mean. Yeah, sure, that could happen for some people and some people might hate it, some people might love it. And Why wouldn't you want windows? Well, so here's one possibility. And and there's almost literally spitballing here, right? Mm-hmm. Well, not literally, but um, so what do you want to do in a in a car that drives itself? You probably want to watch a movie. Let's keep it real. It was okay? the underground trains in London, by the yes. way. Yes, that's what I was referencing. That's right. In fact, it was when they first did the subway in London. They didn't. They thought you don't need windows since you're underground. And then people were like, "No, this is really claustrophobic, and we're going to lose our minds." So, but in the car, you're going to want to watch a movie, right? It doesn't matter if you say yes or no. I know you. You're going to want to watch a movie, okay? And so that could be distracting to the other drivers that are not in autonomous driving vehicles. And so they might have thought if we don't do windows and they could watch any movie they want, they could do virtual reality and they don't bother the other drivers or distract the other drivers. I I was gonna say, I don't know why I'm doing such a giant defense of Apple, okay? <laughs> but it's not a defense, I'm just being honest with you guys as to why it might have come up. Do we have the design of it, the fake we design? We do, let's take a look at the image. Yeah. yeah. So if this is the reason why I say it's a fake design is that other companies said this is what it might look like. This is not Apple's design. Uh, no one got that memo, and everybody's joking around about how Apple designed this and right, how they're right, gonna right. plug the their their charger into it and stuff. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it looks kind of cool. No, I disagree. I yeah, it also looks like a coffin, but still, it looks it like could a go either phone way. with wheels on it. Yeah. Um, I, I like I like Windows. I'm a big fan of Windows. I think Windows should exist. Um, I think that this, you know, uh, extremist ban on Windows is wrong, ban. right? Like, <laughs> I don't know that it's a ban. I just okay. Just think about it in any other context. Like, do you enjoy a home without Windows? Do you enjoy being in an office without Windows? Do you enjoy like? My place has bathrooms that do not have windows. Mm-hmm. Okay, instead it has that annoying ceiling fan vent thing that's supposed mm-hmm. to like ventilate the the bathroom. No, I, I, I hate love it. those. Why? I hate them. Acoustic privacy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, sure, I guess. <laughs> but like I like the window. I like I used to live in an apartment that had um, a window in the bathroom. And it was like where the shower was, but it was high enough where like no one can see me in the nude, but like 
in the morning, I would like open the window and you could see like the trees outside while you're showering. It's so lovely, yeah. right? Windows make everything better. Yeah, so first of all, I just wanna be clear, I'm pro windows. I don't know about okay. that. And I'm going to be very reluctant to use a self-driving car. I know that that's not necessarily logical. I know that on average, people say that they, and studies show that they are safer than, Do they? than humans. Do they? So yes, the you'll get- The studies commissioned by the companies that are gonna make the autonomous yeah, vehicles. That, look, say there's that. some of that for sure, yeah. right? And, and the jury's out overall, and are there spectacular cases of accidents that freak everyone out, even if generally. Look, the problem isn't the self-driving cars are, are good or bad, it's that humans often suck at driving. Cars don't kill right. people, people kill people. <laughs> That's another way to look at it. So look, I don't know that I'm ever gonna use a self-driving car, and it's mainly psychological. It's a loss of control that I'm not sure I could deal with, right? Mm -hmm. And I love Windows, and we're sharing way too much information already in this story, so I'll add one last one. My favorite is bathrooms with windows of the ocean. So I've seen that like twice in my life. Uh -huh. I'm like, you don't really need this, but I can't. And in fact, it's no, probably a bad it. idea. You need it. Okay, we but all it was, need it. it's kind of awesome. What about the bathrooms that rich people have where it's like a giant, like, Freestanding hot tub in the bathroom. Yeah. But it's like right next to a giant window, floor to ceiling windows yeah. overlooking the ocean. No, that's like goal in life. And you know what? The people who can afford that tend to be the most miserable people on the planet. And I, I hate know. them. No, but seriously, rich people, what are you guys doing, man? At least enjoy it. Enjoy it. They're like, no, I'm going to spend it against Nina Turner. Like, what? <laughs> Just go do the bathtub with the ocean. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I agree. I okay. agree. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.